good morning. And I think you know what I'm going to say, right? Welcome to Winter Peg. <laughs> it seems to me that about a year ago right now, I said much the same thing. I'll see if I can find the, the, the clip that I took. Now later, I did find that clip. And uh, yeah, this is from almost a year ago right now. gonna say right welcome to winter pig it's back <laughs> and according to the weather reporting individual we're gonna be getting more of it <laughs> yeah it's uh well I knew I knew this could happen <laughs> and in case nobody picked up on it I'm talking about all the white stuff Look at my screen. <laughs> it's all white. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what it looks like tomorrow morning because... Uh... And, uh, yeah. Well, this is, uh, this is Winnipeg, and this is April. We can have really nice warm days like we had uh, last week. Uh, or, or we can have uh, snow on all over the place. Now, the, the good news is that the snow is melting about as fast as it's falling. So, <laughs> and I think I've said this a lot, a lot before, that at this time of year, if it snows, I, I'm not really, you might say, depre as depressed, you might say, in, in, as, as I would be in, say, the beginning of November or end of October. Because, you know, this is the beginning of the end. <laughs> of the good times, uh, or the nice weather. Uh, yeah, winter would be settling in if we got this in October. But uh, yeah, it's just old man winter trying to get one last jab at us. And it is, <laughs> but that's okay. Now, uh, today I really do believe we're gonna get done step 25. Uh, you know, I, I, I thought what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna shorten this piece uh, and, uh, uh, we'll, we'll just make it fit. And, uh, the idea is that when it comes to laying the individual modules into the, into the, uh, uh, shell, like we tried yesterday, uh, if I have to, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll cut the positioning pegs off of the back of the, off, of, off of the other side of the, these bulkheads, and, and I'll just get them basically in the right place. When you're viewing that overall ship, you're not going to notice if it's two or three millimeters one way or the other. You won't, you won't see that. It, it, just, it just won't make a whole lot of difference. It would have been nice if it was perfect. But hey, this is not a perfect world and this is not a perfect model table. <laughs> I am certainly not a perfect builder. I'm not a rivet counter. If I get it more or less right so that it looks good, I'm happy with it. And, uh, as I've said before, whenever people come and they look at my ships in the case over there, they don't put their nose to the, to the glass and they've got a magnifying glass out. They're standing back and they're looking at the, at the ship as, as a whole, you know, that's the way people view things. Uh, uh yeah. So anyway, let's, uh, let's get going here today. Uh, uh, I, I haven't checked to see if the walkers. Oh, the walkers wouldn't wouldn't have come by yet. They're they're probably not due to be coming by here for about uh, ten minutes or less, uh, approximately. Uh, they'll probably be. I don't know if they'd be carrying their umbrellas or not. It's it's uh, it seems to have stopped raining and sleeting and whatever, but I can guarantee you they're carrying them along. But they might not have them over their heads. Uh, anyway. Um, my right eye is starting to run. Sorry about that. I don't want to have to reshoot this. I know every once in a while something goes wrong with me and it's kind of maybe a little bit annoying or... Uh, <laughs> but that's the way it goes. Uh, it is what it is. Um, 
Okay, uh, yeah, there definitely will not be any pretty sunrise at the end of today's episode, I'll tell you that. Okay, uh, let's, let's recompose here. Let's, let's uh, take a look at our LEDs that I said a month ago we were going to, or hang on, I think it was longer ago that, that I painted these, the, the, clear, the clear red and the clear green. Um, yeah, so let's just see what they look like. Um, lit up and, and what kind of voltage do we have to put in it you know if, if they if this uh, the full three volts going in there they're probably going to be so bright that it's going to lose the uh, well we'll talk about it when we actually do the adjusting I'll try and have it so that you can see the voltage at the same time as the as the bulb uh, that shouldn't be that hard should it no okay uh, there was something else I was going to mention there and I forgot what it is now <clears throat> Oh, I'll think about it. I'll think of it later. And, and oh, <laughs> it's in my peripheral vision. All right. Uh, well, the camera's way back there. Remember yesterday I was talking about making a skirt to go around the bottom of the. Uh, uh, just let me get this on here with, without trying to knock anything over. Uh, we'll move my coffee in here. I'll move this over. Move this out of the way. Okay, th this is what I made up. Th there's actually two of these, okay? Uh, I need a total of 88 inches because the, the bike box is 88 inches long. And this is to go down the side uh, of, the, of the box to hold. The, the wall will be here and the floor will be here. And, and it's, the idea is that it's supposed to go down over the... You know, it's too hard to explain. I'm not good at explaining stuff. Uh, I'm good at showing you stuff. So when I, when I put these on, I will, uh, you, you'll understand what they're all about. It'll make perfect sense. Now I know those of you who are, who are uh, uh, in, into, into woodworking, you're, you're going to say, wouldn't that be stronger if you had the grain running the other direction? And you're right, it, except that the, the stress is 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 this way like let's just let me put one of these down here i don't know why i feel like i have to explain everything but i just it's just just part of me okay so the stress is going to be this way the 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 floor that is going to go this way is is going to be hooked onto the bottom part of it and the wall that comes down like this is going to be hooked on the top and the idea is that I don't want the floor to pull away from the wall. See, in the the other piece, I I did not accidentally cut the cut it off. Oh, you know what? It's too hard to explain. So, there's, in other words, the stress is going to be this way. Envision pulling, hanging on like this, and trying to pull it apart this way. Okay, so that's why I've got the grain running this way because this is the way it's the strongest. I am beating this to death, aren't I? Let's uh, let's uh, recompose here. And uh, check out our LEDs. Now, not to worry here, we will get to the LEDs, but about a minute after I stopped talking there, our friends Don and Bridget did come by. And surprise, surprise, at least uh, I'm surprised they are not carrying their umbrellas, but they are wearing, you might call, rain apparel. So, uh, yeah, they're prepared. And uh, I notice they're kind of walking a little bit carefully. I'm wondering if maybe it's a little bit slippery. It, it shouldn't be slippery there, but uh, uh, anyway. Yeah, they came by. Okay, right now we're putting out just a little over 2 volts. And uh, I'm using my breadboard here. I, I, I like the breadboard. I have a, a love-hate relationship with it. It's sort of... Yeah, it's it's a handy little device, but it uh, the connections are uh, are not as good as if you were to solder them, like a hardwired or whatever. Okay, this is the coarse adjust adjustment, and this is the fine adjustment. So we're going to uh, increase our voltage here with our fine, and just keep going up and up and up until okay, we're just starting to see it, starting to see them glow there now, and. Uh, See what what voltage do they look the most uh, believable at? 
Um, now you can see when I when I move this, and and the connection in right here, it gets kind of uh, not too good. Anyway, we are up to almost three volts. These things are rated for three volts. I would think that my uh, power supply is fairly accurate. You know, nothing, they wouldn't be using something like this in Nassau, but I'm sure that it's plenty good enough for Ron's model table, that's for sure. Okay, we're at exactly three volts. And, uh, yeah, I think, uh, I, I think we could probably, uh, you know, on, on these colored ones, we could probably go with the, uh, you know, the, the full three voltage. Uh, if you remember, I was going to have each in each light bulb individually uh, controlled with a, uh, a potentiometer thing. Uh, I'm, I'm still thinking of doing that. They're, they're not that expensive, and I could wire them up sort of in mass production. It probably would only take a couple or three days. Um, I'll see. You know, that's that's a long ways away. That's a long ways away. Okay, let's. Uh, get back on step 25 here and see if we can finish it up. Now, I thought maybe I should uh, mention which paint it was that I used for these uh, LEDs. And I obviously I used the clear green number 25 and the clear red number 27. Just in case somebody's wondering. Came out pretty good, I thought. And it seems to me that I if I remember right, I dipped them twice. There's two coats on each one, as best I remember. Okay, we are back to where we were before. And as near as I can tell, I have not broken any of our pipes loose. And if you will remember, we had concluded that this part was just way too long to fit in here. So we're going to have to shorten it, whether we like it or not. Otherwise, it's going to it's going to buckle when we try to put it in there. So we what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically cut cut the, the this peg off right here, and uh, I'll just leave enough of it so that we can get the the position just right. Now on this end, we're going to have to cut a lot of it off. And now let's see if I can hold it so that you can see here. Okay, you, you can you can see that there's. I'm gonna have to cut off, oh, over a millimeter, so that I can get it to fit. Now I I want it to be a little bit tight. So so uh, I think we'll we'll just we'll just. Well, for sure, we're going to have to cut the peg off, the peg, and maybe maybe this much. I'll I'll, I'll go this much the the first time, and that way there will be a little bit of a tight fit. This 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 uh, these bulkheads will sp spring out just just slightly. Um, I think I I can probably do this on camera here. No, I, I want to make sure that I get it square. I'm, I'm just eyeballing it here. Okay, let's 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 try let, let, let's try this. Does that does that look right to you? Quick in the comments below because I'm going to squeeze. <laughs> okay, maybe I should have my other glasses on so I can see a little bit better. Concern is that I that I have it square. 
think it, I think that's pretty good. I'm going to put my finger over the end of it so it doesn't go pinging off. Although, how far is it going to ping? Okay. There we go. I guess I can take these off now. Put the other ones back on. Maybe I should put the medium ones on. Where are they? Yeah, they, these ones here. These are my, uh, I think they're four diopter for anybody that's wondering. Now, we, we were going to cut this off, weren't we? Well, we might not have to now. Okay, now this has to go... Um, still a pretty tight fit. Well, that, that's because this, this peg here, maybe you can't see it at, at the angle you're in. It's, uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to moisten the hole here with, with, uh, you know, maybe if I was to put this whole thing like this, but then I can't see up here, so that's not going to work. Um, just let me think about this a bit here. There. Now we won't lose the positioning ability of this end. I, I was noticing that, that this end is not cut exactly square. And the, the reason I noticed that is because the, the little piece that I cut off, you can see it's not at the, at the right angle. Um, so I, I might have to uh, sand, sand it, the, uh, the, the long part of it down, the long side down. But, but we'll, we'll check it first and just see how, how it's going to work out. So let's uh, let's get everything back in here. Okay, I might have to refocus here. Okay, I've turned everything around because I was realizing that the way I had everything positioned before, you were looking at it sort of edge on and you weren't really getting to see the profile of what's going on. So everything spun around 180 degrees here. And uh, this might be a little bit more photogenic. Now this this one here, it has to go like this. It's still a little bit tight, but I think what I, I think if I was to uh, to square up this this end here, so you see if I can turn it so it, the angle is more so that you can see it here. Yeah, you can see there's a there's a gap there. It's not the yeah. I think I think if I let me get this out of there. Okay. Yeah, if I I'm going to exaggerate with my file here. And if I was to you know cut it at an angle, a file at an angle like that. Um, this might be kind of hard to do on camera, so I'm just going to quickly do it off camera. You, know, you, you understand what it is I'm trying to do here. OK, 
Okay, I think we basically got it now. Yeah, as near as I can tell, this this end here is supposed to be resting on this flange. Uh, I. Yeah, I, I I can see you know you 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 can almost you can almost feel it there. No, not not really, I guess. But you can see where the where the peg was supposed to go. So we just slide it up into, into the right place, and and maybe I'll use some uh, Tamiya thick there. But that takes so long to dry. Okay, um, yeah, let's let's recompose and get this glued in place, and then after we get the. Uh, overhead bulkhead and, and we're done step 25 okay I'm discovering that I've got myself another little problem here I think I may have taken just probably a, a tenth of a millimeter too much off of the end here and what's happening now is that when I try to get this in it doesn't want to stay there it, it I was hoping that there would be enough of a a friction fit here that, that this would not fall out but when, when I get everything positioned at the right angle it, it just won't stay there all by itself so I'm thinking now that oh there it is but it'll probably fall out as soon as I go to glue it but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put a rubber band back on just to give it just a little bit more tension here don't worry we'll put that back probably all it's going to take. As long as I don't touch the rubber band with the uh, extra thin. I, th I think it's the extra thin that, that, that snaps rubber bands so, so readily. So that's, see, that's all it took. Okay, now, now obviously this end is in the right place because the, the peg is in the slot. But this, this end here, okay, you can see the so I have to go back just a little bit here, like that. Okay, I think if we take our, uh, where is it here? We'll use our extra thin because of its melding property. And we'll, we'll glue from the back. We're, we're, we're actually viewing the this whole unit from, from this side here, not from this side. So we'll put the glue on this side. That way it doesn't matter if we get it, you know, where it's not supposed to go. Okay, I don't know if I should be trying to wiggle this or just rely on the fact that everything's going to sort of meld. Now let's just leave that for a few minutes. Stays open. Yes. Yeah, you can you can smell it on my fingers, can't you? Yeah. Yes, you can. Did you bring this snow? Was it was this snow your fault? No, not your fault. Yeah, that's right. You stay in here and eat it because it's too cold out there. You're gonna get your paws all cold. I don't cold. think she likes the feel of the snow on her paws. No, I don't think so either. She's trying to walk across the back deck without putting her feet on the ground. You're such a good girl. Yes, you are. You're such a good girl. So when it's cold out, she heats indoors. Right? Yeah. And when it heats up, life's a picnic. Well, Smart. well, the white stuff is back. It is. Plus nine today, it will all go. But yeah, it's it's melting almost as fast as it's falling. But you said uh, snow on Friday, right? Well, that, they've changed it a little bit now. Now they, now they, I think it's sixty percent chance or something. Well, a lot more 
than a few minutes has passed here. Probably about two hours. Our snow has melted and looking at the center of the street right now I can actually see dry pavement. So I might be able to get out this afternoon but I don't not counting on it. Okay, um, this these connections here they should be hard. I don't want to put too much stress on them, but I don't think this piece is going to fall out, that's for sure. Now, the next thing we have to do, let's get this turned around a bit here. Probably going to have to prop it up differently. Yeah, it's not going to want to stay by itself. Okay, the next thing that we're going to want to do is try and get our overhead bulkhead in place. And uh, it seems to me that in order to do that, it, it almost fits now, at least at least right here. But but it, no, it, it can't fit back here because we had to shorten this. Why did we have to shorten that? Oh yeah, because these two bulkheads were too close together. Yeah, that means that in order to get this to fit, we're going to have to shave the edges off. At, at an angle, uh, you know, like 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 this and like this. Now, of course, I've grossly exaggerated, but you know what I'm getting at. Um, okay, these these two holes go to the front. Do I have this backwards? Yeah, I think I've got it backwards. It's supposed to go the other way around. Well, I guess it, it wouldn't really matter, would it? Yeah, it wouldn't wouldn't really matter as long as we get it on right. Yeah, I, I can see here. Let me turn it so you can see the. Uh, okay. So these these two pegs here are supposed to go in there, like that. And then this is going is supposed to fall into place, but obviously it can't. So we've got a lot of cutting to do here. Um, fortunately, now fortunately, when we view this whole thing. We're going to be viewing it like this. So if if we make a bit of a mess, you know, on, on the back here, it's it's not going to be seen anyway because the, the mess that we make is going to be sitting on top of of this, this flange here, like this. And all of this is going to have that shell that we were working with yesterday coming right over almost, uh, you know, hiding everything. So... We are actually going to probably be seeing very little of this overhead bulkhead. So, uh, now what would be the best way to cut that? Um, you know, it's such a large piece. When you're dealing with a real small piece, like, like this one right here, you just sort of nip off the end. But this, this is just way too big to nip. So, uh, let, let me think about it and recompose and... Uh, uh, I'll come up with something. I, for a minute there, I was thinking, well, maybe the the Dremel tool, you know, but that might be just a little bit too high speed. I find that the Dremel tool has a tendency to to melt the plastic, um, even at a slower slowest speed. So it it could be that the razor saw is the way to go and just sort of, you know, work my way around on it. Just like I say, let me think about this and uh, and recompose here. Okay, just double checking here. Right there it fits. Okay, but it will not fit here. So that means we have to taper it for taper it down. Okay, just just let me recompose a little bit here. Alright. Yeah, we have we have to taper it down. Uh would it would it be now I forgot, would it be like No, it would it wouldn't because this this end fit. So it has to taper this way. This 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 is the the edge it has to be shaved off more and when we get to here, nothing. So in other words, we have to go at an angle like this, exaggerating again, of course. 
I'm, I'm just going to double check. You know, this is one of those cases, you know, measure twice, cut once. Well, I'm going to measure a whole bunch of times and then maybe I'll get it right. Now, a moment ago, I was thinking what I need is a power tool that'll do this. And actually, I do have one down in the basement. It's called an, an edge sander. And it, it's a big 500 pound machine. Well, maybe 400 pounds. But, and it, it would really look like overkill. But what I could do is, as the belt was passing by here, I could slowly feed this into it and, and slowly, slowly take it down and keep trying it in, in different, you know, in the module, take the module down with me. But I don't know, that's, uh, let, let's just try this first. I, I was going to go up to this little mark that I've made here, but maybe that's, that's too much. I'm going to just take a little bit less off and I'm, I'm just eyeballing it now so that the blade will, will, will come from here and to something like this. Um, now this, this may or may not work. Um, just... You know, I need my different glasses. Okay, that's better. What am I doing here? Wonder if maybe I'm going at too much of an angle. I take too much off or if I take it off the wrong end then this thing is going to fall in. Oh my, I don't think I've got the angle quite right. Let's see if I can get it to come over a little bit here. scared to try it. Maybe I shouldn't have record going when I try it. Okay, I just wanted to get rid of that, what was left of that positioning peg. I, I think we've got it. I don't, I don't want to take any more off here. Okay. Let's give that a whirl. Now this is the first time I'm trying this and if it doesn't work, I will be one of the biggest fools on the internet. Um, okay. It almost fits, you know, if I was to get rid of these two positioning pins, because we really don't need those positioning pins. It has it has to go from from right here to right there, and it it almost goes. Let's let's just see now. What could we take down enough here? Yeah, this this look this looks like it's going to fit. So uh, let's cut those off. This was actually. Uh, Mark's idea. I got that fairly flush. Okay, now let's try it again. Uh oh 
What is wrong here? Oh, there's nothing wrong. Uh, there's, there's, uh, that, that's actually spitting pretty good. If I get my big fingers out of the way so that you could see. Um, I think that's going to be all right because when we view it from, from this side and the, sh and the shell is over top here, we're not going to notice that this is not fitting properly. Um, well, it, it works, and we, we've got our, our two little two little holes here for the LEDs that are going to illuminate. Oh, sorry, that illuminate here and here. Um, okay, let's, let's let's glue her down, and then you know it's it's not perfect. I know it's not perfect. In fact, it's far from perfect. But uh, yeah, then we're done. Step twenty-five. That that's it. There's nothing else to put down. Okay, uh, we'll just use the extra thin. Wait a minute. We've got LEDs that have to go in. Should they be going in now? I don't think so. I, th I think it looks to me like I can easily push them in afterwards. Okay, we want this to just sort of wick its way along. Let's try and slowly get our glue going there. I saw it actually go. And on this side here, And it's not really touching there. I just just want to put it where it's going to be touching. But you know, it, it it's not going to take a lot of stress. So uh, yeah, it, it won't take much to hold it in there. And I don't think I put in so much glue that it's going to have run into the inside. But maybe we should have a little look just for the fun of it. See if we see any problems. Mind you, what nothing we can do about it now. No, I'm, I'm not seeing anything over top of the the instruments or anything like that. No, I, I think we did good. I think we did good. You know what? We are done step 25. Now we can start on step 26. Okay, the only thing I did do that you didn't see me do is I glued this seam right along here where this piece attaches to the overhead bulkhead and it fit really really well it's it's glued glued in place anyway step 26 right and uh, I think what we're going to want to do is call it quits for today here you can't see the clock but it is uh, 1227 at the moment okay so uh, I'm going to say thanks for watching, everybody. And all being well, we're going to see you tomorrow. And hopefully no snow.